Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Greetings to you on this holy day. Ampetukile, Wopila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a day of celebration and and uh, rejoicing for me to listen and to watch and to see all of you stepping forward at this time. Uh, traveling companions, fellow travelers on this road of spirit, on this road of um, of answering a call and of service. So I greet you all beloveds, beloveds and, and your families and friends. Um, I greet all of your ancestors. I greet all the ancestors to come. You know, I, uh, I'm so moved by, by by everything you said, but I, but I also want to say I I'm I I am generally uh, wary of accolades. <laughs> I think I think to step out onto this road, um, it's wise to be wary of accolades. <laughs> this is the first award I've ever received like this, and I want to say in this time in this climate. Of, of things that are being revealed in indigenous communities, particularly in Canada, at the residential schools, all the children's remains that are being found. I don't think, I don't think our predecessors could have imagined us sitting here together in this way on this day. So I'm, I'm rejoicing that our ancestors can watch this communion, this communion between a seminary graduation and indigenous nation. <laughs> but I want to say that, um, you know, I'm, I'm wary of accolades because I know that uh, spirit, to follow spirit, to follow the calling of spirit means many times to step into places that will bring no accolades at all. This is true. This is true in my experience and I'm sure that you may have already experienced it yourselves. So uh, I, oh, <laughs> just yesterday, you know, I'm, I'm here, it might look like a humble background here, but I'm very proud of this background. It's, I'm at my mother's house and she's 97 years old and, and we're companions and um, she was just telling me, you know, because I'm taking care of her finances and her medical and household things. And she was telling me, you know, Pat, I really do think you could get a job managing somebody's office. <laughs> She's very worried about me <laughs> and wondering when I'm going to get a job. <laughs> so you see, we're, we're not always understood by those even closest to us when we're following that call of spirit. And yet you, you are hearing it. You have submitted yourself to this process of, of listening and of being of service. So I want to tell you that I also made a vow and it's a lifelong vow to be of service to the people, to be of service to, uh, to the ways that have been shown to me that are sacred. But I'm also gonna say I've made a vow <laughs> to remain open, to remain open to, to instruction all along the way and that it's ever evolving. And sometimes very surprising <laughs> the places that spirit would lead. So I want to say that, you know, when I, made, when I made my vow to be of service to the people by bringing the ways that I've been given uh, and, bringing, and, and making sure that they're alive, alive in such a way that spirit can enter into this world. And I was very worried at times, uh, well, especially in that moment of, of what is the sacrifice that's gonna be asked of me that was like the first thing that came to my mind. What, what sacrifices will I be asked to make for spirit? That was what scared me a little bit and sometimes a lot. But you know, even, even, even two days ago in an inquiry and in a meditation with spirit, what I heard was 
if you really want to make the very highest offering, the apex offering, you know, you're very confused, you humans right now. <laughs> you think that that apex offering um, comes, comes out of self, self-sacrifice and sacrificing so much. Who can sacrifice the most? That will show devotion. And Spirit and the Holy People said, not so, not so. Notice where you have been placed. Notice this Mother Earth in her, in her beauty, in her endless creativity, in that endless conversation that she is in with this holy star, our sun. And notice the abundance. I always say she is, her way is, is radical abundance and fearless generosity. So notice where you are and know that the very highest offering that you will ever be able to make in service to creator, to creation, to this life, to upholding the honor of being human being is always and only going to come from you receiving this holy gift of life yourself. It's a gift to you. It's a gift to you. So that highest offering is always going to come from joy, from a place of joy and vitality. And, you know, I was listening to, to the song, you know, I need you to survive. This life needs us to thrive. <laughs> also, this life needs us to thrive. And so, um, so I wanted to say that to you because this was, you know, I, I've, I've heard it in different ways, but, but, for, but for spirit to say right out, it's only from that place that you will ever make the highest offering in service. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about that. And um, I wanted to say that you are medicine sent to earth. I am medicine sent to earth at this time. To, to, to come here at this time is, is, is a very powerful time. And so I want to say that I, that I trust you completely. I trust you completely in this endeavor that you are embarking on. And I'm so grateful that you're going to be traveling this road with me. So I will finish my part and, and know that we are um, closing this one part of your life, but moving on to opening into another. So my dear friend Gigi Coyle calls it the clopening. And so in our way, when we are coming to a completion, we say, Khosharana hasli, Khosharana hasli, Khosharana hasli, Khosharana hasli. In beauty, it is finished. 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 I'm so honored to receive this award and congratulations to all.